GOP is only five seats shy from regaining control in the House. If polling proves true, 2020 will be a game changer, thanks to black Republicans and women. Hi, everyone. Build as the party's rising stars. We have so many Republican women, it's hard to fit us in one press conference. <laughs> Aiming to make history. There are nine candidates in my race. I'm the only female candidate and help their team take back Congress. This is going to be a pink wave. Party leaders are touting another year of the Republican woman. I am running against uh, a man who, combined with Joe Biden, has been in office for 89 years. Only bigger. I'm running to save the American dream. Thanks for the 2022 momentum, going largely to Representative Elise Stefanik, the third-ranking House Republican who created EPAC to get more women elected, raising more than three million campaign dollars. After the 2018 midterms, we were down to 13 Republican women. And in just one cycle, we were over 30. I actually predict that we'll be over 50 Republican women in the next Congress. Think about that. It's a goal likely to be helped by the fierce headwinds facing the current party in power. Voters are frustrated with what they're seeing on the border. Inflation. Uh, I have, I've met with voters saying, I have to decide whether to put gas in my car or buy eggs for my children. More than 280 GOP women have filed to run for Congress, beating 2020's historic high. They call the race! <laughs> when 33 got elected, flipping 11 of the 15 seats that went from blue to red. Stefanik's group is supporting 18 candidates so far this round in what it calls the most diverse and impressive roster to date. They are going to focus on standing up for conservative values. Uh, they are strongly pro-life, they are pro-family, and that's where the Republican voters are today. That's where this country is. Several candidates are endorsed by former President Trump. When you look at what President Trump was able to do in both 16 and 20 in terms of changing minds and bringing people into the party that have never voted Republican before, uh, you know, swinging some of those independent votes, that's a lot of what we plan to do as well. 